All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a string of animations. I'm also going to show you what spawnables are, and um, maybe I'll make it in this video or a separate video where I talk about some camera tricks and how you can swap back and forth from one camera to the next. First thing you want to do is create a folder called Cinematics, and we're also going to be doing sub sequences. So the first level sequence that we're going to do, I'm going to call sub one. Okay, so we'll go to rename and sub one. What this does is we're only going to save the animations in here. So I'm going to click on this and open it. And the thing that I want to do is go get my actor. So I would have told you to place all your animations in a in the same spot. And I'm looking for idle. And what I'm going to do is drag it in here. And so you notice I don't drag the skeleton. I drag the animation in. And so one of the things we want to do is you need it in the level. But I'm going to make it invisible from the level in a second. So just look over here. So sequencer, and I'm going to drag it in here. So now this is just a placeholder. Uh, and it is there in this sequence. But what I want to do is not make it there for other sequences. And let's pretend I was going to film another scene in this exact same room. So what I want to do is make him only in this animation. So if you look now, there's like a little lightning bolt. So that means that he's been converted to a spawnable. So if I close this sequence down, he'll be gone. So if I just um, go to Countdown Browser and, well, you're gonna have to just trust me on this, okay? So he's currently there and the animation, we don't have one added. So I'm gonna place my playhead to the beginning and I'm gonna convert between three or four animations here. I'm gonna go idle. And what I wanna do is, even though I've added the idle animation, it's not actually added. Now it's added, okay? And another thing I like to do here is to convert this sort show as seconds, okay? So instead of it now, here's two seconds, three seconds. So, you know, that makes a lot more sense. And I'm gonna change this here to, uh, I don't know, let's go 400. And so what that does is, it's, a, it's quite a lot. So 400 is probably too much. Let's go 100 seconds, because it's in seconds now. And I, I'm gonna just have this animation play for a little bit, okay? So if I wanna check if it's playing, I press Alt S. So let's have a look. So there you go, it's moving just a little bit. And what I want to do is show you how to string another animation. So I'm going to go, let's say I want it to end right here. And even if I was a little bit wrong here, it's fine. It's close enough. And maybe I'm going to go with being cocky. Okay, so let's see how these two string together. Sometimes they don't string together at all. Well, so what you do is you push them into each other. And I don't know, you can't see it right now, so I'm going to expand this a little bit. You see there's like a phase here. And I also want to show you something uh, that you can change the way that it usually it, it's sort of like a sign in and out, I believe. So I'll click, you don't need to know, do this, but sometimes if it's not working, this is the place you want to go. So let's have a look. Let's press the space bar. Yeah, this, they go together. So basically I'm stringing some animations. I'm going to move this up to over here. I'm going to go and add another animation. Now you should have researched these ahead of time and maybe, you know, your character is doing it head nod for yes, for something happening in you know, the same scene. And you see there's a choppiness there. We definitely don't want that. So we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze these together. That's yeah, pretty good. And just like in Premiere Pro, this uh, allows you to increase or decrease your timeline. And let's just put a third animation. Uh, we did a head nod, look away gesture. And often it'll drop on, a, just put them back on together because otherwise you don't get you can do, make them phase, but this is the easy way to do it. Let's see. There you go. So we'll pretend we're happy with that. And we'll end the, the animation there. So like I said, this is a subsequence. So this is, we could bring this into our main sequence. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to save this. So it's really important to save in here when you're doing level sequences. So now I'm going to go back to my cinematic shoulder. And turn this off here. And I'm going to create level one or sequence one. So this is going to be the main sequence where we do our actual video. So let's go. 
a minute. Uh, just notice something I forgot to mention. Normally, in your, uh, you're you're probably in default port when you're because this is what you use for game design mode. But I actually switched it to cinematic mode, which allows you to see, uh, you know, a sixteen by nine view. And you can also turn on the rule of thirds, which I've talked about, which I highly recommend having that. I'm going to now create a sequence so under animations, level sequence. I'm going to go level one. Nope. Press F2 or just go and uh, rename this right here. Level one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is now I could have several sub sequences. Maybe I do a sub sequence with like fireworks and uh, all kinds of uh, special effects and maybe I have uh, two animations and have them come in at the same time so I'm going to go down here track and sub sequence and I'm going to just go grab it and click it and so there's my sub sequence nothing seems to be happening because well he is going to be there I'm going to get rid of that guy whoops control Z um, okay so he is here. So if I if I scrub through, you'll see him do his, his animated. But you know, I need to actually do a couple of things. So one of the things I want to do is I'm going to save this, and I'm going to use cameras here. So these are spawned already. So the camera is only going to be visible in this scene. And if I have a level two or something, the cameras from this scene will not be visible. So I'm going to click on this, and here's the camera cuts. So this shows me what I see for the one camera that I've added. And what I recommend that you do is rename all your cameras. So, you know, I always find it's best to have two or three cameras. What I want to do is have three cameras and I'm going to cut them all up in here. So you could have several levels. I find it simpler this way. So we're going to do it this way. And if you want to try it the other way, that's fine. But I'm recommending this way. So I want to do... Um, rename right down here so I'm going to go cam one and I'm going to right now adjust this to under the focus settings now we uh, let's keep it simple for now and we can get fancy after if we want with uh, you know using fancy lenses and so on and right now we're at 16 by 9 digital film I, I either recommend that one or the DSLR but since this is the default just leave it for now and let's add a two more cameras so I'm gonna go up here and this camera I'm gonna press F2 oops and I'm gonna call it cam 2 and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go cam 3 I have three cameras okay did that work oh let me double check here okay, cam 2 cam 1 this is then type the three that's really important so let's do that here's not letting me click on it rename cam three okay so now these two extra cameras I have to put these in disable so this means it's always in focus everything's in focus let's keep it simple for now and as we learn how to use this better we can add you know start getting fancier towards the end so what I want to do is well this is my cam one and the, you know this is really important so is this clicked on and this is for the master but for now we, we're going to start with cam one so i'm going to click over here and i want you to see is this pilot active on now if you switch to cinematic viewport it probably will be so what this means is that you can whatever you move this is what the camera is going to look like whenever you're ready to go so i'm going to go and remember i always says start with an establishing shot and this is what i love about unreal engine something in the scene that looks terrible I can get rid of it right now and uh, let's just go with that and so what I'm going to do now is have this film and you can also have the alt s turned on so that you can actually see how the idle moves so you can see it move a little bit so what I'm going to do is wait till it goes like this and I'm going to right click or just go up here camera two now I'm going to go down to camera two click on it and with camera two I'm going to do a, a real close-up of the guy 
So, you know, you could use a rule of thirds. Use your judgment. How does it look? Maybe, you know, we want this mid shot here. And if I want to see how it looks up here, I just click here. So, boom. And, oh, there's seen it. Did I not switch this to camera two? Let me just check. I'm not sure. I just redid it and it picked it up. So just make sure the transition is over here. And then I'm going to go down to my camera three. I'm going to set up my shot. So by clicking on here. And maybe I want a behind the shoulder shot like this. Uh, you know, and maybe your animations matter. Like whatever is going on. So here he is. And maybe he's looking at a guy. So we want to see what he's looking at. So let's let's just do that. I'm going to now switch to camera three. And there we go. And maybe over here, I'm going to switch back to camera two or one. Let's see what it looks like if I switch back to camera two. So now you're like, well, I don't see the change. Well, you have to click on this camera. Once this camera is binded, you see what you see through this. This is the master camera, if you like. And let's have a look from the beginning. So boom back and that's too quick so what you can do is just move this over you can also make this longer the five seconds and of course make this a little bit longer and play around with your if you want to make this longer you can just i converted it to seconds so i'm going to go eight seconds let's pretend uh well let's pretend let's do it uh and you know if i want you don't need to go to the end it'll cut out here so let's just go here and let's just see, and maybe there's a conversation. You already know what's going on. I have the head nod. I like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that over here. So I want everybody to do a track with a sub scene, bring it in to a level, and then get three cameras in there. Show me that you know how to do this, okay? So if you have any questions, please let me know.